Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is, wherever it is that you are. Welcome once more to another video podcast of Political News Time, brought to you by pntlive.net here on Periscope. I am your hostess, Alex Mayers. I had a good day today, got a lot of work done, got my um, podcast editing caught up and everything. Actually, um, I feel kind of special today because my little crush, Jason Quinlan, and um, it's an online crush. That's really all I can handle at this point in my life. But um, he gave me a compliment saying that he was impressed by the amount of podcasts that I publish. And my response was, um, well, I'm single. I don't have a man and I don't have kids. I basically have more time than a lot of people do and um, I try to use my time productively you know hence the manifestation of this podcast just so that men out there know you get so much further in life when you take the time to compliment women and let women know that you notice their efforts and the things that are important to them Um, I suppose in a way these podcasts do serve another function for me too. I feel like anyone that I end up dating in the future, these podcasts are an awesome reference point for exactly how my mind works, what I think, what I feel, um, how I am. Actually, when I think about all of the podcasts that I've done over the years and all the blogs that I've written and all the projects that I've taken part in, um, anyone who dates me in the future has no excuse to say, I don't even know who you are because I put it out there. Everything online that's Alexandra Mayers or my alias when I was in the adult entertainment industry is basically my online dating profile. (laughs) It is. Tonight, I'm going to focus primarily on the issue of the politics of rape and race. And this does kind of tie into my segue into Kanye West tomorrow. Because as of tonight, I retweeted a tweet that Kanye West... um, was referenced in by Fox News in regards to him stating that he feels Planned Parenthood is a um, tool of white supremacy or that it was created by white supremacists. I don't think it was created by white supremacists, but I do think that it is a um, tool that white supremacists routinely utilize when it comes to... um, covering up their evidence of rapes, but also just covering up their infidelity and um, specifically having the intent of hurting people of color. Within the adult entertainment industry, and part of the reason that I'm actually late for this podcast tonight has to do with me being emotionally triggered a bit by what Kanye West um, said or what it was reported that, it, that that he said recently in regards to white supremacy and abortion. Because the adult entertainment industry, which I've gone over in the past, is, um, it, you know, has its foundations rooted in white supremacy. Something that they do in that world, the white males, and it is like a game for them, almost like a rite of passage, because they do laugh about it. They talk about it openly on forums. They think it's funny. Um, They purposely target black women. They lure the, they lure the women into thinking that they're having a relationship with them. They get the woman pregnant and then they either force or coerce the woman into having an abortion. And as soon as she has the abortion, they go on their online forums and they laugh about it. They make it public. They ridicule the woman about it. They say that she wanted to have the abortion rather than them coercing her into having the abortion. 
Um, it's horrific and it happened to me. I'm not going to say the person's name tonight who refers to individuals who are multiracial as mystery meat. He and his little group of friends who do this to women. But what I will say is that a female pornographer known as Brie Mills is a tremendously bad judge of character when it comes to the men that she chooses to work with on her adult content production sets. Okay? That's what I'll say. Brie Mills is a horrible judge of character horrible because she works with some white dudes from Canada who aren't just white supremacists but they're misogynist they're hateful they're racist they're bigots and they're fine with murdering children when the child might be the wrong color 